rain garden on average is, we're trying to keep them somewhat shallow. Well, you need to take a look at your depression, make sure that the sides are nice and smooth, and then you really need to look at the location where the water is going to be entering your rain garden and the location where the water is going to be leaving your rain garden. And so where the water is entering your garden, you want to look at that area and stabilize that area. And you can use a number of materials, but rock is a very common material used. You can also use rock in a decorative way. You can create a design like a dry creek design where you connect both the location where the water is coming in and the location where the water exits. Native plants are a great choice for your rain garden. They've been adapted to the area, and in our case, uh, they're adapted to the weather extremes of extreme heat, extreme drought, as well as periodic flooding and very wet conditions, and periodic freezing. So some of the species that we put in in our project include in the lower part of our rain gardens, a plant called frog fruit, a nice ornamental grass called gulf muley grass, and then higher up on the slopes, we put in species like Turk's cap, purple skull cap, Greg's mist flower, and mealy blue sage. I think this is an easy way for a homeowner to get involved with helping to not only treat their stormwater, to do it in a way that complements their landscape, adds variety to the landscape, allows them to have plant selections that are consistent with our climatic conditions here in the San Antonio area.